I am here to let you know that God is in you. There is no God out there in the sky as if they're a personal figure commanding down here on earth to you. God is energy. God is within you. So the kingdom of heaven is within. Heaven is inside of you. You can either, we are already born into hell. A lot of us are born into this hellish lifestyle. But heaven is in all of us. But it's all about if we turn within and look at the power within, look at the God within us to claim our acres of gold, okay? To claim our acres of diamonds, to claim our heaven here on earth. God is within us, so it is up to us to go within, to do the necessary healing work, and become one with our higher selves. I know that this can get a little complicated. I know that it can go against a lot of people's belief systems and what people believe, but I am here to tell you that God is within you. Everything is God. Everything is God. You are God, or God is, male, female. God is power. God is source. God is energy. And that life force, Ashe, that flows through everything is within you. It's within your soul. And it's up to you to connect with the energy force, with the life force force that is within you for you to manifest whatever it is that you desire. When you pray and you ask for something, you're not praying and asking a God above you or a God in the sky, so to speak. You are asking the God within, the energy life force within yourself Hey, we deserve better. Hey, our lives will be great if we have this. Hey, you know what? I would like to experience this. You're speaking this to the God life force within yourself. And that God life force goes is 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 within you and it may require you to do some healing. It may require you to build your confidence. It may require a lot of different things on the inside. That's why you have to do the inner work. That's why you have to do the shadow work. That's where the shadow work comes in. You have to face that shadow side of yourself. The hell side of yourself. The devil side of yourself. You have to go within to get your prayers answered. You have to go within to manifest outwardly because whoever you are on the inside, that's what you're going to see on the outside of you. And the only person that can change what you're seeing on the outside, and when I say what you're seeing, I literally mean your life. What type of car you're driving? What type of person are you romantically involved with? What type of money is in your bank account? What are you experiencing day after day after day? Is everything always working in your favor? Or does it seem like, man, everything is just always seem to be failing around me? That's because the God in you needs some nurturing. That's because you need some nurturing. You're not feeding the life force that is within you. You're not feeding the God force that is within you. You're not tapping into the heaven that is within you. Because you're... You're, you're basing it off of the outside circumstances that you see. You're trying to change the outside world. You cannot change the outside world without changing the inner world first. So that means you have to do the inner work on yourself. You have to tap into the God in you, the goddess in you. Back in the day, there were goddesses. That people looked up to that because pe we're all goddesses and we're all gods. But we, we, we shifted into a patriarchal system. 
and just forgot all about the woman somehow, somewhere along the line. Like how are all these men rules and all of this being born without the woman? So clearly the woman, the goddess, has some very high importance in the universe because we are the creators. Come on now. How deep do you really want to go? It's the same for you. It may not be for you. But how deep do you really want to go? We go down the rabbit hole over here. I just been touching the surface. God is within you. So if you if you feel like you're not getting your prayers answered, if you feel that's because you subconsciously, subconsciously, you've been taught to believe that God is outside of you. And that you can only get one prayer answered, a lifetime, or something like that, or you can't have it all. There's no way that God, as if you're not worthy of it? Hmm, isn't that weird? That's the whole matrix and agenda that wants you to believe that the power is outside of you. Because they don't want you to know that the power is really in the inside of you. So somebody may say, do you answer your own prayers? Technically, yes, because you're going in to do the work to make sure your prayers are getting answered. Yes, we do work with the with the universe. But as long as you, we attract, every, everything is a magnet. Everything is energy. Just like if you have the two magnets and it, it, it attracts together, with undeniably, you, you can feel the energy. When you are asking for something, because the way the outer universe works or the way your inner universe works, really, because you're really, when you're speaking those things that are not, we call those things that are not as though they were. And when we do that, we're speaking to the inside of us. And when we do that, the inside of us, that energy within us, that God power within us begins to work. It's that subconscious mind. And it begins to go out into the universal field. If you listen to Abraham Hicks, that's the, your vortex. And it begins to create and put together what you have asked for. So when we do that, we're going within asking for what we desire. And the infinite source finds ways to bring it to you. The infinite source being your subconscious mindset. Your ego mindset does not have all the access that your subconscious mindset does. That's why it likes to stop you. Your ego is your worst enemy. Oh, we ain't gonna be able to do that. Oh, remember, we ain't supposed to, we don't want to get up at five o'clock to exercise. We want to be comfortable. Your ego will keep you stuck. <laughs> That's what you're working against. But yes, when you go within it's your subconscious mind is queuing up saying, okay, we preparing this. But you may start to see circumstances arise in your life and it's helping to clean, to cleanse out and to prepare you to give you what you have asked for. I know y'all followed that. It may, you may have to go and watch it twice. But yes, you 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 are answering have listen to Rev Ike as well. That's somebody great to listen to. You go with it's time that we stop being afraid to break down these barriers and talk about who God is or what God is. Energy. All of it. Because there's so many negative connotations that surrounds things that are really good for us. But so many people are afraid. So many people are afraid to speak and talk about the truth. Or they want to say it's blasphemous. And I wouldn't be for those people. I want to find my tribe. I, I attract my tribe. My vi Your vibe attracts your tribe. So I must begin to talk about those things that are very important to me. That way I can attract the tribe of those people that are on the same wavelength as I am. But yes, this life, we are here to manifest those. We are gods and goddesses put here on this earth to be able to experience it in abundance, not to be uh, in lack and turmoil and traumas. Yes, we may have to clear some of the karmic lifestyles from some of the karmic uh, pieces that have carried over into this lifestyle. So a lot of us are could be clearing out karmic debts. 
it's just pieces from my previous lifestyle because this energy it can only be it can never be um, destroyed only transferred energy can only be transferred so at the end of the day once we transition we transfer into something <laughs> that this this body suit it goes away but I'm talking about a lot of things at this time but we are here to 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 transmute that karmic energy so we can truly live our best lives by tapping into the God within us, the God within our subconscious mind, the infinite possibilities that are here and possible. All things are possible. All things are possible for the person that believes. Also, I want to touch on this. A lot of people talk about their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not one to say that Jesus did or did not exist. However, I do not believe that, that, is, that Jesus is the only way. I do believe also in my ancestors. So if I'm connecting with my ancestors, I am also connecting with Yeshua or Jesus as well because Yeshua is an ancestor. So I definitely believe in connecting with the ancestors, those that have walked this path before. Heaven or hell is what you are living on earth right now. Are you living hell on earth or are you living heaven on earth? And when we transition, it just depends on how much work we've done in the previous body before we transition to, to see how much how much of the karmic energy is going to go with you wherever you're going to go. But there is no, I don't want to, you know, I'm going to ruffle some feathers, but that heaven or hell mentality after we pass away, after we die, and uh, you've been afraid to live your life here on earth. And it's time that we start having those conversations for those that are interested. But I am here to tell you that God is within you. I'm going to sound off to certain people and I'm not for those people. I'm more so on the witchy vibes, and that is okay too. But there's been a lot of things that has been written in a book that has made us believe that certain things are not okay when that is who we are, especially as black women. That is natural for us to be in the kitchen whipping up different, uh, different earthly uh, medicines and putting them together to help heal our families. They're called healers. It's nothing negative. We're supposed to use the magic of the universe. The, the universe is magical. Tapped into the power of the God within us. Come on. It's a lot, a lot of rabbit holes I've touched on. But as a collective within this video, you guys get the overall message that I am sending. God is within you. So if you want to start seeing change on the outside of you, begin to change the God, the goddess within you. Tap into the power that is within you and choose to live, uh, to have a, a heaven on earth lifestyle today. Stop keeping yourself. You have to, you have to break the limitations. I've had to break the limitations and you better believe it's been difficult for me to begin to even create certain videos to, to share with the world, hey, I believe something completely different than what I was taught to believe. It takes courage and bravery. But my belief system is what it is. So I'm here to be a vessel to share, to help free other people that, that are on the same wavelength as I am. So tap into the power that is within you. To change your life and to manifest your desires. I'm going to leave it there. I think I've said a whole mouthful. You guys can book your one-on-one -on -one sessions down below in the description bar. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with someone that you may feel find it helpful. And I will see you in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.